Hi everybody, my name is Tom Forgione and I wanted to help you get more sales on autopilot. So I'm going to give you a short presentation on how to do that. I need to let you know the disclaimer. The disclaimer is that I don't know what you're doing, what you're promoting, how you're doing it. I have no control over what you're doing, so I can't guarantee your results. In fact, uh, most people will watch this video and won't do anything. So I don't know how you're doing it, what you're promoting, but I can tell you that if you do it properly, it'll definitely help you in business. So what types of industries does this work best? And very simple. It works for any industry that is looking to attract and sell their products and services. It doesn't matter if you're business to business or business to consumer, a service company, a product company, whatever it is, this will help you get qualified people in your sales pipeline. And that's the goal. So this entire sequence is set up once. What I'm going to show you, you do one time. You don't have to change it unless you're using content that's not evergreen. And what that means is evergreen means content, text, anything that could stand the test of time. So you don't put expiration dates on it. You don't do anything that will make it uh, obsolete quickly. So you only have to set this once. Now, if you use content that's not evergreen, you just have to make sure you go in and check it once in a while and change dates, change content which you should do anyway. You should make sure that it's fresh, but it's not time consuming. All communications with the person who signed up are sent out automatically with autoresponders. Now an autoresponder is an email you create once and then they're sent at a specific scheduled time or triggered event. That's the beauty of this system is you only have to do it one time and it sends them out automatically pretty great. Now for this example you're going to need some type of video content to send them to. Them is visitors, okay? It can be pre-recorded or a live webinar and it's easier than you might think to make this. Now it could be a product demonstration, it could be whatever you really want, but in this example I'm going to be a little more specific than that. Now once you create this content, this video content, or you plan a webinar to train people, show them your product and services, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter, you need to advertise it to get people to it. Now we advertise on Facebook, on using pay-per-click on Google, or Bing, or wherever, uh, pay-per-click's available, on your website. You can also advertise this in print. You can send out direct mail to get people to it. There's a plethora of ways to get people to this recording or live webinar. And we just have to figure out which one is the best one for you. Now, I uh, always like starting with Facebook first because that's inexpensive. You could target market. Um, and it's just a, a better way to track what's going on. But, you know, same thing with pay-per-click. You can also track, and it's not expensive if you set a great budget uh, for yourself. But you need to advertise. This is not, we're not playing games here. This is business, and you need to get people to this presentation. But once you do, you're going to see how great it's going to be. Now, <clears throat> when you advertise, you, your goal is to get them to sign up f to watch the free video or live webinar. Once they sign up, you have their email address. And that's the goal, is to get their email address. Because if the seminar and the or the webinar is very specific in content, you will have very qualified people looking to watch it. Because why would you want to watch a video of something you're not interested in? It just makes sense. Now, your webinar can have 
you could here's an example. You can have webinar topic three secret secrets to whatever whatever it is. Uh, three secrets to a greener lawn. Three secrets to uh, a beautiful home. Three secrets to buying your uh, favorite car. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The webinar topic has to be has to solve a problem for someone has to be very interesting to people. They have to say, oh yes, I want to check that out. Or I'm in the market for that. Let me look at this to help me with my research. Whatever it is, it has to stop someone cold and it has to give them something that they're currently looking for. That's very easy to do because you're in business and you get the questions asked all the time by your existing customers. We can go over that later. So let's say you did the three secrets two scenario. You have a specific secret one, specific secret two, and a specific secret three. Yeah, that's a lot easier to read than to say. So you have specific secret one. Now the reason they're specific is because you want people to qualify themselves later on by determining what secret they're looking to learn. Okay, so the, the webinar overall is a, let's say you're a plastic surgeon and it's a specific secrets to uh, beauty without surgery. And the first one could be, say, about Botox. The second one can be about fillers. And the third one can be about microdermabrasion. But it's still a general concept seminar, webinar, video. I think you get the point. Now, you must give real education. You cannot give them something that is fake. You cannot give them a sales pitch. You have to give them something that they'll really gain a benefit from watching, even if they don't do business with you. So you have to have that educational basics in there. You cannot pitch the whole time or you'll fail at this. Now, once they have the specific secrets, you tell them how they can do this without you, which is true. They can do it without you, just like you could do what I'm teaching you here without me. But you also have to slip in there a little bit of benefit to using you to help achieve the result that they want from learning the secrets. Now, don't be a pitch person. Just a few sentences, just like, I can help you do this, what you're watching here. If you can't do it yourself, give me a call. Simple as that. Don't over pitch because it's really not about you. It's about your customer and your client. And if they have a high value, whether they do business with you or not, they're going to remember you and maybe they'll do business with you later down the road, which is fine too. Now, about the time that you, your benefit comes up, your contact form automatically appears. So to, to break this down, they, they've come from an ad to check out your free video. They put in their email and then they get access to the video immediately if it's pre-recorded. If it's a webinar, then they get access to a schedule where they can choose when to, to when to watch it if you're having multiple webinars or a program that sets them up to remind them when the webinar is if it's live so now you captured their email address when the webinar starts or the video starts they're going to learn three secrets to whatever then during the video they're going to see a benefit to using you to help them achieve the results of what you're training them on. Then about that time, automatically, while you're, they're watching the video, a contact form appears below. And once the contact form appears, they have a choice. They can either sign up for a consultation, and then you know they're very interested in what you're doing. If they sign up for a consultation, you can contact them immediately because a form appears which will have their phone number in there and their email address. And that's a hot prospect. That's someone who wants what you're looking for right away.
Now, let's say they exit and they don't use the form. That's okay too, because remember, you got their email in the beginning when they were interested in your topic by just reading the headline of the topic of the seminar or the webinar. Okay, so it's you already have someone who is interested in that subject, which you can remarket to over and over again until they tell you to stop. Now, here's the scenario. If they sign up for a consultation, they immediately get placed in a specific autoresponder sequence. Think of it as like a bucket. And that bucket has autoresponders. It could be specials, it could be events, it could be whatever you want related to educational promotion, I call it. Now, educational promotion is if they signed up for say how to make your lawn greener then you would send them information that would teach them how to make their lawn greener absolutely free of charge you're giving them free information so it would be about 60 to 70 percent education and about uh, 30 to 40 percent small subtle sales pitch so you teach them and you say by the way if you want this done we can do it for you very simple not a hard sell you get clients a lot easier that way because nobody likes to be hard sold okay now once they're placed on that specific autoresponder sequence it's up to you to determine how often they get the emails I would start at every two weeks and then you can go to every week if you see that your unsubscribe rate is low which we could talk about now let's say they exit though and they don't want to get involved right away that's fine because they're going to get a specific autoresponder sequence also. Now remember, autoresponders are pre-made emails that are sent out on a scheduled basis or by a trigger. We're going to go over that in a second. So if they exit, that's fine because we want to keep them on the autoresponder list and they're going to keep getting information from you. So as long as they don't unsubscribe, they're still listening to you. Okay, They're still reading your emails. And then when they're ready, hopefully they'll do business with you. So, regarding specials, events, and other, okay? In those emails, those are autoresponders, just to make it simple for you. Each type of email has a specific workflow attached to an action. Okay, that's simple. That means that if somebody clicks on a specific subject within the email, in other words, you have two or three subjects in the email autoresponders that are sent to these uh, people who signed up. If they click on something that is very specific, they go into a different box. They go into a different bucket. Now, if they're on your email list, you can also make it happen when they go to a specific web address on your website or URL. So if they are on your email list, and they are in the bucket for, let's use the lawn person again. Let's say they're in the bucket for making their lawn greener. And they go to the website, and on the website they land on the paver section, where they can get decorative pavers for their backyard. Well, then they get a different set of uh, autoresponders. Now, that's re now it's related to pavers in addition to what they were getting before or in in place of it's up to you don't worry you're not annoying people that want information you're only annoying people that don't want the information that you're sending them if you keep sending it to them give them a way to get off your list of course you have to now that's pretty now <clears throat> so when you have these autoresponders set up one of the benefits is that the people that are on your list can be contacted at any time. So you don't have to wait for the autoresponders to be sent out to them and, and hoping that they're going to call you. You're going to have a list through a report section of any email marketing company that you use that will show you the specific email addresses and their first names of people that uh, did something. You can contact them off autoresponder. If you collect their phone number, which I don't really recommend you do, you're asking a little bit too much then, but um, 
if you do collect their phone number, you can call them. Okay, so you need to decide when you want to contact intermittently before the autoresponders go out. Okay, now they're separated by interest too, so it's even easier to decide what you want to do. If you have a, a pop-up special in your uh, business, you can send something out to them right away. You don't have to wait. Now, I told you it was going to be short and pretty simple, and you can do this yourself. So I'm going to recap it one more time for you. You get people to a sign-up for a webinar, either live or recorded. They give you their email. The specific offer of the webinar qualifies them because people will not sign up for something they don't want to learn more about. Okay. Once they sign up, you have them in your system. That's the basic thing you want, that you're in the system, okay? In your lead system. Now, once you have them in your system, you're going to give them either a pre-recorded video, which they'll, they'll jump to right away after they give you their email, or a webinar, specifically titled to something that they are in need of now. Now, once that's done, you will have in your system all done already. You will have autoresponders set up. You will have ways to contact them. You will do all this before you promote, of course. But it's a set it and forget it scenario. Just make sure that everything is evergreen. Now you can do this yourself. You can review this video again. It's not hard to do. You can do it in a couple of days. Uh, setting up all the technology and writing the emails maybe within a week or two you'll be done but it is so worth it because once you once you get something that people are interested in and they qualify themselves by giving you their email these are now not suspects they're prospects okay and you can do this if you need help we can do it for you if you need help just fill out the form that automatically appeared below and I will contact you personally but this is not difficult it's not rocket science but it is required this is the new way of marketing it's one of the new ways there's plenty more but this is a big way and this is something that really helps businesses get more leads thank you for listening and watching I appreciate your time. Contact me if you need me. Have a great day.